What's wrong? I think something bad happened to Griffin today. He came stomping home and wouldn't tell me what's wrong. Then he used some language I can't repeat and stormed back out. Wow. He's probably sulking in the park. I'd be so grateful if you could go talk to him. Uh, I'm not sure I'm the right person to do that. Please, you two seem to be getting close lately. <sighs> okay, I'll try. I can't believe how stupid I was. I was just a hobby for her. You deserve way better than Nina. I put on a suit for her. Look, you don't know her reasons. What if someone basically made her break up with you? Do you know something? Is there another guy? No. Because if some guy did this, I'm going to rearrange his face. Forget it. It was just a theory. A bad one. So Griffin wasn't going to dump Nina and you totally used me to freak her out. I'm sorry, but I was desperate. I couldn't let him give her that necklace. <laughs> she wanted to save Griffin a lot of pain. Right. You did it for Griffin, hmm? Oh, don't rub it in. Okay, I did it for myself too, but I really thought Nina would break his heart. Eventually, why don't you just tell Griffin the truth? I tried. Then try harder. You don't want this on your conscience. Stupid conscience. Hello? It's me. I can't talk long because my bus is leaving soon. What bus? I'm moving back home to my dad's. I just can't deal with Elkford right now. And Lauren's letting you go? She doesn't know. She'd only try to stop me. Look, I, I didn't want to leave without saying goodbye. You're probably my only real friend. Don't say that. You can't leave. Look, you can't talk me out of it, so don't even try. I'll drop you an email when I'm settled, okay? No, listen. It's for the best. Take care. It is not for the best. <laughs> Brace face? What are you doing here? You'll wake my parents. I'm sorry, but we don't have much time. You have to come with me. I don't have to do anything. Why do you have that? I'll explain on the way. Wait, Griffin! Sharon? You shouldn't have come down here. I wanted to. I had to. Just get off the bus for a second. Hang on. I hope you didn't come to talk me out of this, because I've made up my mind. Hi. Thought you were tired of slumming. I never should have said that. It wasn't true. Then why'd you dump me? Because I heard that you were planning to dump me. Horribly. In public. Who told you that? You? Why? I wasn't trying to hurt you. I just couldn't stand Nina being around my family all the time. That's so incredibly selfish. I know. I told myself I was doing you a favor. But really, I just wanted my life to be normal again. I'm really sorry. I couldn't let you leave without knowing the truth. I thought you were my friend. I still want to be. I can't hold this bus forever. Please, don't go, Griffin. I would never have done anything to hurt you. I thought you knew that. Hey, wait! I gotta get my stuff. So, I guess this is almost like a happy ending, huh? Or something less than a total disaster? More like that. Is there any chance you're going to forgive me? No. Well, maybe eventually. Since we're practically family, I think it's mandatory. I know you and I have a lot of baggage. 
But for Griffin's sake, can he find a way to handle it? Yeah, I think we can do that. And don't expect a tick. Nina, that's heavy. Oh, come on. It feels good and you know it. Uh, could you guys uh, walk a little slower, maybe? Please? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, your bean burgers look great. Thanks. Did I make too many? I know you brought a casserole, so... Actually, I didn't bring my Brussels sprout surprise after all. I thought I'd give Josh a break. He told you he didn't like it? No, I found some on the bottom of Thorndike's birdcage. I guess he didn't like it either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hungry people, chow's on. Don't forget my Dijon mustard. And extra tomato. Coming right up. If Lauren only knew, for once, I actually deserve Nina's abuse. But no matter what, I was determined to always take the high road from then on. And taking the high road included condiments. <laughs> <laughs>